This week, Famicom Friday brings you Apple Town Monogatari, the Famicom Disk System adaptation of the early Activision hit Little Computer People. It's a game about, kind of creepily, watching a little girl go about her days in a big old house, kind of like The Sims with little to no interaction. I would love to show you some footage, but unfortunately this particular copy has fallen victim to an issue unique to, well, early computer games and FDS titles alike. Pop the game in and you get... Exciting Billiard. Not even billiards, mind, we don't even have a plural to work with here. Just exciting billiard. It would seem that our dear friend Felicity in Worcestershire, or at the very least, a particular rogue hamster in her charge, has given us the bait and switch. Here I was, ready to just let the footage roll in without my having to do much of anything, and BAM! My plans are shattered, and my sandwich grows cold, as I have to, you know, play a game. What's up with that? Exciting Billiard is, as you'd expect, billiards. You shoot pool in a variety of styles and rule sets, cursing the limitations of the system itself, especially when it comes to the kind of angle you need to make a particular shot. You see, the rather granular nature of the controls means that some shots are just impossible head-on. Not because they can't realistically be made, but because without more sensitive analog controls, the particular finesse you need is between two available settings, thus requiring either some Rain Man calculations and bouncing a shot around three walls, or an acceptance of abject failure. Fortunately for all the frustration of the actual gameplay, the presentation Konami brings to the felt-covered table is beyond reproach. While some of the colors might seem a bit off compared to actual billiard standards, you can toggle numbers on the balls to make sure you're hitting the right one, crucial to the nine ball and rotation settings. Heck, you've even got a lengthy cutscene welcoming you to the Konami Hustlers Club, which I'm to understand is an establishment that was cut out of the US release of Legend of the Mystical Ninja. There's only a couple musical tracks, though they're pretty catchy and really play up the pool hall ambiance. My primary issue, though, is that we don't get a chance to play that foosball table up there. Just think of how awesome that would have been on the NES. Konami exciting foobal. Because we gotta yank a plural out of there somewhere. Konami exciting billiard isn't immune to mechanical failure, but it certainly pushed the envelope for 87. You can even name your own character and play against up to three opponents in a pass-the-stick four-player setting. Unfortunately, I'd recommend against playing with the full complement of computer opponents, else you're going to be sitting there a while as the system does the complex calculus required to realize, yeah, I'm absolutely hosed on this shot, and just play a safety that makes you long for the days when you're watching a girl living in a house. Now, if you'll excuse me, I gotta go petition Mark for a foosball table in this interstellar jalopy. Mm -hmm. 